this place has a great significance for the history of Protestants in general and also for us as Seventh-day Adventists. Visitors to Italy's Waldensian Valley are struck by its beautiful scenery. But these beautiful valleys are also a testament to faith and courage. More than a century ago, this is where the Waldensian people fled to escape persecution. They set up a missionary training school, and when persecution followed them, they hid in caves to worship. These valleys also played an important role in Seventh-day Adventist history. And uh, it's also a significant place for us because the first baptism outside of the United States of America uh, was done here in Torre Pellice. The Waldenses believed that it was their duty to spread the gospel, not keep it to themselves. They wanted the world to know God's message despite the risks that came with sharing it. Today, as Christians, we still have a message of hope for the world and a commission to carry the gospel to the world so Jesus can come again. Gabriel is a global mission pioneer here in the Waldensian Valley. Global mission pioneers are lay people sent out to plant new groups of believers. But Gabriel's challenge is a little different. His task is to share the Adventist faith with people in these historic valleys. We're trying to, to, to rekindle this faith uh, in the Waldenses. They were students of the Bible, students of Bible prophecy, so we're kind of trying to awake them to the heritage that was left to them by the fathers. Right now, actually, we have a, a small church, about 30 people in attendance. And uh, the thing is, we don't have an Adventist presence presence here in the valleys. Basically all the members come from outside the valleys, uh, except for three of us who live in the church buildings. Members get together often but have to travel far to attend church or study together during the week. Gabriel's time is devoted to leading and growing this small congregation. You have many denominations uh, here in the valleys, so there's a good uh, Protestant presence here. And so you can, you can speak about uh, spiritual topics very, very freely. It's not uncommon here to speak about God. Since religion is so freely and commonly spoken about, it takes a lot for people to stop and really listen. Gabriel has only been here for about a year and has experienced many of the challenges of sharing his Adventist faith in this part of the world. Please pray for the people in this region of the world Pray that pioneers like Gabriel can be a light to these valleys.